So I was having a really lazy day. I was just kind of scrolling on my phone, going through my YouTube archive, and looking at all the videos when I was 16 years old. And I was talking an octave like this. Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline, and trying to be what I thought a beauty guru was. And it just like really had me laughing. And the very first video I ever posted, I was 16, and I did a what's in my bag video. And it was just, it was an interesting time, you know? Can't win them all, right? I just got this sudden burst of inspiration to bring it back, do another good old what's in my bag video. Um, yeah. That's what we're doing today. Something just feels so OG YouTube. Like, you know the days of YouTube when there was like no drama, it's like 2011, everyone has their Bath and Body Works candle going on. We're putting on Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation, doing all of the typical 2011 YouTube beauty guru things. It's time. So, a little different than back in 2014 when I had, you know, a perfectly staged clean white room and twinkle lights and I probably cleaned out my purse beforehand. I made this video and it already kind of predetermined what I was going to say. I literally just want to sit down and go through my current bag that I'm using and just talk about what's inside it. I don't know. I still I still think there's something so interesting and like I think we as humans are just nosy people and I'm always like yeah, what does so-and-so carry in their bag? So let's hop in to a good old what's in my bag. So first off, this little bag here is actually a fanny pack. I am just ultimately like a really lazy person and I wanna have my hands free, so I don't really like carrying big of bags. Um, and fanny packs have just been the way of life for the past like a year pretty much. This one here is actually from Call It Spring. It's like actually so random. I wasn't even planning on getting it. Um, I was using a different fanny pack that was a bit smaller, but then Call It Spring actually sent us along in like a PR um, mailer and I ended up like really loving it. Pretty sure it was for the Disney uh, Lion King movie. They have like a collab with Call It Spring and it's all this like fake vegan like kind of snake skin and different textured leathers. I think it's really cool. The inside of the strap is like this red uh, vibrant red color. Anyways, it just feels like really comfortable when you wear it like cross body like that and it's just really easy and goes with everything. Um, so I've just been using this for about like the past month and uh, let's hop on inside. Okay, so first up in the big zip here, we've got got kind of a mess going on. I like to think I'm a messy, an organized messy person. Does that make sense? Like maybe visually at first everything looks nice and organized, but really this is just the state of my life at all times. Okay, first things first, let's get the most typical what's in my bag things out of the way. Got a wallet. I like really small little wallets just because um, this means I can throw it in like a tiny little like bag for going out or I can throw it in a big bag. I hate big bulky wallets. Like my goal in life is just, just like, have the least amount of like things and I just really don't like a lot of fuss with my things so um this little wallet is perfect and all my friends make fun of it because it's literally the most like disgusting and like old there's been like drinks spilled on this and it's just like so old and falling apart but I can't find any other little wallet that I like as much as this one because I like that it has like a fully zipped section and it's very important that there has to be like a button clasp over the um card part otherwise I just feel like the cards are gonna fall out so I love this little wallet I truly have no idea where it's from I stole this from my mom Mom, like four years ago um, and I never gave it back so yeah huge thanks to my mom uh, love this wallet then of course we've got my keys in there next up I've got some tampons just floating around in there and then I always have to carry a few little lip products in here I've got my go-to lip liner and lip gloss I'm not really someone I don't really like to touch up my makeup throughout the day pretty much however I leave the house is what you're gonna get all day and I just hope for the best but one thing I will bring along with me is some lip product. I have like this really weird phobia. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a common thing or not, but I cannot eat or drink any food if I have lipstick on, which is horribly inconvenient because think about all the times you're like sipping water throughout the day or eating a snack and I just can never have any lip product on. I have to like blot it off or wipe it off with a paper towel. The idea of just like eating my lip product. I don't know. I just, I can't do it. It was something that I used to never think about. And then I can't remember who it was. Someone in my life, I think they were maybe wearing like a bright lipstick or whatever. They started like wiping off their lipstick and they were explaining this like weird phobia that they had about like eating food with lipstick on. And it was something I never thought about until that moment. And once they said it, I was like, oh yeah, that's kind of like gross. I don't want to be eating like this lipstick and this like, I don't know. So all of a sudden, you know, the rest of my life was horrifically ruined after that moment. So shout out to whoever that was. I can't even remember. <laughs> Clearly I cut you out of my life after you instilled this phobia into uh, my brain. So long story short, lip product is something that I do need to bring because I am wiping it off 24 seven. Uh, this one here is a Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in 2C. Now I feel like I've been talking about this a lot in videos lately because it is just 
Mmm, whoa, didn't mean to drop that. One of the uh, best lip liners ever. It's like my go-to. So I always like to have that in my bag. And then this lip gloss here is, I think, also the best lip gloss in the world. I just love both of these products so much. This is the Nude Sticks Lip Glacé in shade Nude 04. It's just like a really beautiful um, lip color that goes really good with the lip liner. Feels really good on the lip. It's kind of got like a bit of peppermint oil, so it's plumping. And these are both products that I can just kind of apply on the go and not have to worry about. They're really just low maintenance and not really fussy products. Um, something that I do have though, inside my little wallet here, I always have this little like pocket mirror thing. It's actually, it's for Makeup Forever. I don't know if this came in like a gift card or like from a Sephora, I don't know, purchase or something. Um, but it's just like this tiny little mirror. And this has saved me on so many occasions just to either pick food out of my teeth or to like touch up a lip product. And it just fits perfectly in my little uh, wallet card holder there, so very convenient. Okay, next up in here, we've got, let me just get this one out of the way. I always carry an extra charging cord on me because no one wants a phone that's dead, let's be real. It's actually so crazy how much a phone has become a security blanket in like modern day, just because I figure if I'm ever out alone and my phone is dead, I'm like, wow, now I don't know anyone's number because I don't have anyone's phone number memorized to call them if I need help. Um, most of the times I'm relying on like Google Maps to get me to places. So it's very integral. You need a phone, you can't have a dead phone. It's a safety, it's a safety thing, okay? It's not that I have a problem and I'm addicted to Instagram. I need to check it every five minutes. I mean, that could be the case. Next up, we have another lip product, lip balm. You guys know I love me a good lip balm. This one here looks absolutely disgusting because it's been in the bottom of so many bags and purses and backpacks. It's a Glossier Coconut Balm.com. Now I have the Balm.com in like a ton of different flavors. The coconut one always is my favorite though. I love it. And this has honestly got like probably two or three more uses in. It's definitely getting to the end, um, but it's so good. I love it. So I always like to have a lip balm in my bag. Okay, next up, I've got some mints here. Love a good breath mint. I sometimes, mm, not, not that I wanna say I'm not a gum person because I do appreciate, gum has its place. But definitely mints are more the way to go because if I'm like running into a meeting or like going to an event, I can just like pop one in the mouth and I don't have to worry about, you know, spitting it out five minutes later. Um, whereas gum, obviously you don't wanna be chomping on that while you're having a conversation with someone. So love me a good mint. I also just like have kind of a chronic problem with eating like garlicky hummus, which is not, like the number one food you don't wanna be eating before a meeting or really just conversing with anyone. Um, so I always need to have mints because I can't help the garlic hummus obsession. Next up in the bag, I've got, okay, this is actually, <laughs> this is random. Um, this is a little tool brush. I actually remember I bought this at like iMats, like the makeup artist trade show back in like 2015 or something. Um, thinking that I would use this as like a splatter brush when doing special effects makeup. It's really basically just like a fancier toothbrush. You could straight up just use a toothbrush. I don't know why I spent actual money on this. Um, but it's actually come in handy so often as a little hairbrush. So it's basically like these little like bristles, um, these really soft and flexible bristles. And it's really good for just kind of like smoothing out the top little bit of your hair. Like I have so many broken little baby hairs at the top just because I wear my hair in like a ponytail um, or in a bun often. So I find I get a lot of breakage up there and it's always, okay, now I'm just pulling hair up. That's not actually the breakage. But there are a ton of little baby hairs. So if I ever need to just kind of smooth them down, I find like a little toothbrush little guy like this is the way to go. It just makes it nice and uniform and um, sleek. So love a little hairbrush. It doesn't take up a lot of room, so that's good. Uh, yeah, this has saved my life on many occasions. I guess also if you need a toothbrush, I could kind of, I, I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure this could double as a toothbrush in a pinch. Next up in here, we've got another tampon. Better safe than sorry. I have a questionable used Kleenex. That's delicious. I think I also have got a pack of fresh Kleenexes as well. I chronically am congested. I actually just recently went to get an allergy test because so I was like, I've been living my whole life with a stuffed nose. Like that's probably not normal. Um, and then it turns out I'm allergic to grass, which I'm like, okay, well, so I can't exist in the world. Um, anyways, I always need to have Kleenexes on me because I'm sneezing and congested and have snot probably coming out of my nose 24 seven. Okay. Oh, wow, this is funny. I forgot that I had this in here. Okay, I have a little, um, would this be like clear quartz, like white quartz, is that a thing? Rose quartz, it's definitely not rose quartz. It's like this little gemstone thing that I have here. Um, I was at an event actually, and there was a tarot card reader and they kind of like let you pick some stones as well. And at the end, he gave me this little stone and he's like, take this home and 
I forget what he said if I was supposed to like, mm. see this is why I should have actually wrote down what he insisted I do for a better life. I forget. I honestly do not remember that I still had this in me, but I have to say the past like two weeks have been particularly good. I've been productive. I've been feeling happy. Things have been going good. So honestly, maybe it was because of this. Maybe he put some type of like positive energy in here. Um, I, I'm gonna keep it in here. I might as well, right? It's clearly not doing any harm. Okay, we're getting to the bottom, which is when like a bunch of weird items start to come up. Um, we have a crumpled, but not used, band-aid. Uh, it's like a little clear band-aid. I feel like I always have blisters on the back of my heels just because wearing heels or different shoes and running around. Oh no, I just broke my nail actually. That's annoying. Oh, I always have gross heels. So having band-aids is definitely an essential. Uh, coming to the bottom here, I actually have two other lip products. Um, this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's basically like a lighter version of the Makeup Forever one. So if I have more of a tan, want to go for a darker lip, I'll go for this. If I want a softer lip, I'll go for the Pillow Talk. And then I have a clear lip gloss here. This is the Glossier lip gloss in clear. Uh, really good clear lip gloss. It's so weird because you're like, something about a clear lip gloss just doesn't seem too exciting, I guess, on a normal day. You're just like, clear lip gloss, cool. We've all had it, we've all experienced it. It is what it is. Um, but there really is something about this Glossier clear lip gloss that is just like particularly better than any other clear lip gloss. It feels really pillowy on the lips. Um, but it's not too sticky, but it's so reflective and glass-like. It is just a really good clear lip gloss. I don't know how they do that. Um, also getting to the bottom here, we've got a little rollerball perfume. This is actually so old. This might have been in my original. Oh, that's kind of gross. I think this was in my original What's In My Bag video. I have this pink sugar rollerball perfume. That would have been like, quick mental math here, like five years ago. Yikes. Can perfume go bad? I actually don't even know. Uh, this is a really old bottle of pink sugar. It's like a roller ball. And it's actually a fragrance that I, oh, it is like very strong. This reminds me though of like being in grade like 10. Wow, taking me back. Oh, actually, you know what? This does not look good. I probably should throw this out. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, the reason that I have this in here is more of just like an emergency. Um, I used to have this little like kind of pen from YSL and it's the perfume that I wear, you know, current day, um, not 16 year old Jacqueline. And it's the YSL black opium perfume and <laughs> really weird story. But uh, back at Playlist Live back in, that would have been February. There was one night where there was like this big creator party and somehow there was like a big circle that formed, you know, people are like break dancing in there. And the group of people that I was with, I was like, guys, should I just go in there and do the worm? And everyone's like, obviously, yes, go in the circle and do the worm. So I was like, I got this, I'm gonna do this. And I had um, I had a fanny pack on, it wasn't this one. It was one that had like a zipper that was way more um, like loose, like it would like unzip itself sometimes. So I'm wearing this fanny pack, I go into the circle, I'm having a moment, I do the worm. I think somehow it was me transitioning from the worm into a coffee grinder um, that my fanny pack like unzipped and just my belongings were fully, you know, 360 in the circle, just spewing out at the uh, general public. Um, and anyways, I thought I collected, I mean, everyone there was super nice and they helped me like grab my wallet and the essentials, but somehow while doing that, I did lose my perfume. Uh, so that YSL little black opium is nowhere to be found. So I had to throw this in there as a replacement in the meantime, but I literally don't think I've ever used it, but it is in there in case I'm particularly smelly and I need a backup. Um, might as well, might as well have that rather than nothing. Okay, moving on, we have a little thing of cocoa floss here, which I think this floss is actually made out of coconut. I don't really know, actually. I'm assuming by the name. Um, I always need to have floss on me. I have like a weird obsession with flossing my teeth, and I also just like always have food in my teeth. Um, so I just, I need to have this on me at all times. And as much as everyone mocks me for my floss obsession, I cannot tell you how many times we've been in a situation where I've been out with a group of friends and they're like, oh my God, there's something in my tooth, I need a piece of floss. And I'm like, girl, I got you. Floss comes in handy, it is an essential. If you're not flossing your teeth every day, you need to reconsider and amp up that oral hygiene game. I've got a little extra hair tie in there. Then I have a random wad of change. I normally actually never carry cash or have any coins on me. I don't know where those came from, if I'm completely honest. I have a couple of miscellaneous different colored bobby pins. Interesting. And then I have a little mini Kiss eyelash glue. Now, this is something I actually cannot recommend enough. Um, these little Kiss eyelash glues are great because they are so tiny, so you can throw them in your bags. 
But guys, this summer in particular, the Kiss Eyelash Glue has saved my life on so many occasions that you would not expect. Um, I don't really know, hmm. I don't really know how many stories I want to share on here. You know what? Maybe I'll save them for the podcast. If you guys don't listen to Potty Talk, it's uh, the podcast that I do with my friend Tori. And we're always sharing uh, interesting stories. Have I shared the story about the eyelash glue? I can't remember. Okay, anyone that listens to the podcast, if I have, comment down below that you've heard it. But if you do listen to all the podcast episodes and I haven't shared the eyelash story, then comment down below for me to share it. Um, anyways, this comes in handy in so many other ways than just eyelash glue. It's just convenient to have an adhesive on you, um, but also great for eyelash glue needs. So all around, really great product. So that is everything in the big part of the fanny pack. Actually, there is a zipper here. Is there anything in it? No, just as I suspected, nothing. Um, and then there also is a little pocket up here, which is normally pretty empty. Oh, wow, no, not today. Um, we have a little bit more debris to go through. Let's hop on into it. So I have my Presto card here. I'm an avid user of the TTC here in Toronto. It's my subway card and streetcar pass. Then I have, oh, I have a necklace that is magnetic and collecting some more bobby pins. This is interesting. So this here is actually a choker. I love this, actually. Didn't realize that was in there. That's good to know. Uh, this is from Jenny Bird. It's an amazing um, jewelry company. They do so many cool modern pieces, but they're still really elegant. And I just love this choker, actually. Might as well put it on. I think the reason it was in there, I must have been wearing it one day, and um, I just decided to take it off, obviously. <laughs> Isn't that just the cutest little choker? I love it. I love gold jewelry, so it goes along with everything I wear on a daily basis. Cute. Okay, so that is everything. The uh, fanny pack is officially empty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed me going through the debris in my bag. Let me know the most obscure item you carry in your bag. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, give the video a like, comment down below, follow, do all the things, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.